Hey everyone, it's Ryzen. Welcome back to uh, Let's Play Grandia. Well, let's go ahead and grab this first. There is a mana egg around here. The last one we're going to need for Justin. Aha, we got some enemies here. Let's see here. These are, I think, Magma Man? Maybe Lost Souls. No, they're called... They're... Really? Really? Hot Dog? Hot dog! They couldn't be like Flame Wolf, Fire Hound. No, you had to go with the pun. You had to Dragon Quest it up. <laughs> uh, okay, so I, I've changed my mind for Fina here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Well, number one, I'm going to work on Fina's whip to get it to level 21. Pretty much going to solely use Hal here over and over and over and over and over again until Justin finishes off his wind because we're about to teach him fire after this. Oh, and these guys drop rain cloud staffs, which is uh, very good. I actually want that. I will be equipping that for Justin. Actually, if you don't get it, don't worry about it. But since I did get it, I'm going to go ahead and equip it. Right, Omei? I don't care to work on anything specifically for his physical attacks. So, basically, it's all howl for him. If I need to just finish off it at one enemy, I'll go ahead and attack with the Rain Cloud Staff. Uh, if I get a second one, I'll go ahead and please don't jump out there. Don't do it. Don't do it, cat. She's going to do it. So... I edit those out for you guys. At least I try to. Uh, anyway. I'm going to go ahead and equip that right away. Oh, sa save the dragon killer because we're going to be using it against the boss. Obviously. But yeah, we got a rain cloud stuff. I wasn't expecting to get that so soon, but eh, why not? You can cast snooze, by the way, for free, so that's pretty good. Oh, by the way, you don't gain experience when you use uh, items as wep we weapons as an item, I believe. I don't think you gain experience. Um, I'll have to double check it, but I don't think so. Yeah, I think Justin needs... Let's see. Yeah, 23 wind. So, essentially, once Fina finishes off that whip level, I'm going to go ahead and give her the Azure Knife because virtually everything here is weak to water. And I think... Since I don't care to level too much up for Fina, she's done pretty well for herself now. I figure, eh, let's just go ahead and take advantage of the water weaknesses here. Oh, by the way, those hot dog enemies. Well, when we get in a battle there, I should tell you about them, I suppose. They're not very difficult, as you can see. They're weak to wind. Or, no, they're very weak to water and freeze. Weak to wind and forest. Uh, nothing too exciting about them. I mean, they have a flame howl ability that can cancel. They're also resistant to lightning and explosion. By the way, I don't think there's any forest damaging a spell or anything in the game, so I don't know why things are weak to it. Um, I believe these guys I can actually use Fire Whip on to get uh, some fire experience, so why not? I'll go ahead and do that. Uh, I think... Oh, they have Flame Shot. Yeah, these Lost Souls. They drop Fire Charms, which... <laughs> I already have a ton of them. They're very weak. They're weak to wind, water, and freeze. Resistant to fire, earth, lightning, and explosion. Oh, I killed them. Okay. And soul break is their cancel ability. I don't think they're immune to fire. Yeah, I don't think anything here is actually immune to fire. Just resistant to it. Oh, we would have found out if we had gotten that fire whip off. But everything here is weak to water. So, pretty good. There's only one more enemy here, by the way. Uh, let's see. We got those two items up there. Take advantage of this save point. I'm not concerned at all about Gadwin and Sue missing the experience here. Pretty, particularly because I'm basically done with Sue. Other than a little bit of her wind, which she should finish off here. There's the mana egg. We can't leave, unfortunately, but that'll give us our fire ability for Justin. 
which I want to work on eventually. So always get a howl going. Hmm. You know what? Should we try fire whip? Let's see if that actually does some damage. I don't know if it will, but it could. All right, here we go. It might do zero. But I don't think they're immune to it. Not according to my source. You'll never get away. They are immune. I believe. Yeah, they're definitely immune. Okay, so don't use Fire Whip. It was worth a shot for the experience, but that's okay. Uh, yeah, you know what? Just use another Howl. Fina would have certainly leveled up her her uh, fire whip here. So yeah, needless to say, dragon cut's not going to work here. I don't remember it working, but and I'm reading my notes, it's like, oh, resistant to fire. Oh, that's weird. I'm just going by what the source tells me, but Unfortunately, sometimes it seems to be inaccurate. Or they have like an additional thing beyond just immunity, which is weird, or beyond just resistance. Maybe they have like a set, a different multiplier that just multiplies fire damage to zero or something. I don't know. There is immunity in the game, but according to my source, none of the enemies here have it, even though they apparently do. Very, very, very strange. I'm using um, uh, the wiki, by the way, as the source, as um, where I got most of my sources for the enemies, but apparently it's not 100% accurate. Here, let's just attack. Since I only have two characters, I don't think there's a point to editing out because it just it's really fast for me to just kill the enemies right now. What a cinch. These enemies seem to be kind of weaker for whatever reason. Oh, I see why I don't like this area for leveling. They don't they don't give you much, huh? Well, whatever. We'll get there. I'm gonna go ahead and change this to immune to fire, cause yeah. Eh. Oh, actually the hot dogs don't say anything about fire. I must have just not wrote it down correctly then. Fire whip may actually work on the other guys then. Okay. All right, here I want to use Howl Slash because, well, they're in a bad spot. I love how he casts Howl Slash with his weapon held behind him like that. Howl Slash is stronger than Howl, by the way. What a cinch. So now that Fina finished off her whip, even though enemies are also weak to wind here, which is why the Gale Whip is pretty good, there are enemies that are very weak to water. They're either... So, typically the water weakness is stronger here. So we want to go ahead and... Plus it's stronger, I think, than the Gale Whip. Oh no, it's slightly weaker, but two points isn't going to matter. Then maybe we can level up that her knife a couple of times. Oh my god, that music. The music here is pretty crazy. <laughs> so we got a blue potion that we'll save. I'll probably just store it, by the way. Really? 
the game gives you enough MP to last. I mean, even Justin's getting more than enough MP at this point. Unless you're spamming level 3 spells, I guess. I don't want to store the mana because I'm going to use it immediately upon leaving the area. And there's only one thing we can do now. Alright, so let's go down here. Yep, there we go. Let's see. Go loop around here. There should be uh, an item over here. Along with some more hot dogs. You guys like hot dogs? I don't know. I think they're okay. They're not my favorite thing in the world, but... I don't hate them. I don't even care how much wind experience Justin is getting. I'm just kind of using it at this point. So, Fina should be able to utterly annihilate these guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think it's actually doing about as much as the whip did, but... Maybe a little bit more. Oh, not bad. See, her knife is uh, significantly lower level that I think I can actually... make use of it here, so... Why not? Why not do so? Get that there. Cross this. And nab the final item around this part of the dungeon anyway. This, oh, oh no, I'm missing one. Alright, what's a defense seed that I'm probably going to store for later? If these enemies lasted any longer, I'd actually edit them out, but like... They don't. <laughs> I just kill them so quickly. I don't really want to edit out for literally 10 seconds. Pretty much just howl, attack, and they're done. And then Fina finishes them. Man, she can damn near one shot. Them. Oh, 169. That's pretty good. Yeah, she's definitely out damaging with the knife. <laughs> pretty easy. Yeah, that Azure knife is pretty good. Normally, I just have it for the boss, and I just use random hurl, but... Nah, this is pretty good. I definitely use the knife here. Normally, I focus more on leveling than I do strategy, but here, the enemies don't give good experience. And I've pretty much got almost everything I wanted to do done in... In, um... Whatchamacallit? You can just fall off there. Just on disc one. I just get ambushed. It's a pincer attack! No, not really. You know, I think I'm just gonna attack. These guys give such terrible experience. Nice. I wonder if the Holy Mesa does more damage to those guys. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think they're considered a ghost. Usually ghosts have insane defense. Usually max defense or fatality. Gumbo! <laughs> just what the hell? What is going on, game? I love this first room because save point! Yay! Oh, I'm gonna store that uh, defense seed for later. I like to, when I get all four permanent party members, that's when I decide how I'm going to use my seeds. Because it's based on how I happen to de end up developing over time. I mean, yeah, you could probably just guess, but... The game is... Oh, I've already broken the game, guys. Like, I don't need to make it any easier. If I can get the knife 20, or knife 12, I'll be pretty happy. <laughs> By the way, she gets her last uh, whip ability at 24 whips, which we're not too far from. We're probably going to get it by the end of disc 1, so. There's an area coming up with Fina where that she'll get pretty good whip experience from, I believe. From fire whip, so. 
Might as well just wait for that to finish it off to get those last three levels. Uh, there should be a thing here somewhere. Well, yeah, I found it. Number six is a... Oh, it's just some money. Okay. Oh, man, it's a hot dog! Reminds me of Carbon Dog from uh, Earthbound. Remember that guy? Diamond Dog was, I think it's second form, right? Yeah. Definitely the hardest of the Sanctuary bosses. Well, actually, probably the Titanic Ant is probably overall the hardest compared to your level development. Oh, what are you doing, Ryzen? Attack him! Yeah, if you see Flame Howl, I guess take them out first, but to be blunt, it doesn't matter much at all. Just kind of do what you got to do. Nice. Okay, this battle actually took longer than I thought it would. Usually that would have finished them. Yay, Dagger leveled up. We still haven't even fought the Magma Man, have we? Huh. Once I get the other party members back, I'll start editing out because... At that point... It'll, uh... It'll take longer to go through my commands. Fina's MP level for level 3 is really bad right now. I am concerned about that. I am very concerned. She needs at least 33 MP for level 3. But she should get that, no matter what. I've never had that be a problem. Yeah, dungeon scope here. Head on over here. Now I believe we're finally going to get our other party members back. Am I going crazy? No? I guess I'm going crazy. Head on up first. Hit that there, it'll uh, go somewhere and it does something. We need it, basically. <laughs> but first things first, head up north. There's the magma man! Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Come on, magma man! Alright, Magma Man. He also drops a rain cloud staff. Guess what he's weak to? Yeah, he's weak to water. Very weak to water and freeze. Weak to wind and forest. Resistant to fire, earth, lightning, and explosion. So there you go. Uh, lava throw is a cancel move, and they have... They do decent damage to you, but it's not saying much. They're not that threatening either. But they're, they're there. I think they got some decent defense. No, not really. Only 66, huh? Jeez, the Lost Souls have 100. Yeah, Lost Souls actually might be weak to uh, the Holy Maces, but why bother when I have uh, water attacks? Wow, I'm surprised that didn't... Ha ha! Yeah, sure, whatever. Just howl him. See my power. Just finish him. Yay! I need to issue. Once he joins back up, I'll, uh, once the other primers come back in, I'll go ahead and take a look at what I want to do for. Or how I did with Justin's wind here. I want to get this chest first. This should be a snoo scroll, which I don't even care for, but I guess I'll get it. Wow. 
This is just the strangest music pretty much ever in a JRPG. I, I don't know what to tell you. Well, then again, there is J-pop. Oh, God. Not all J-pop is terrible, but usually the ones they put in video games is pretty bad. I don't know why. It just kind of is. Okay, so we're gonna have you attack. Oh. Okay, that was weird. Just do another howl, why not? Oh, I think we're actually gonna hit all four of them now. Because that guy moved a little bit. Nah, unfortunately, no. Yeah, I do like how this game kind of reminds me a little bit of Chrono Trigger. With how enemies move around and you got AoEs and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Nice. We're getting there. So now we gotta go down to the south. Eventually we'll get Fina and or Gadwin and Sue back, but I guess not for a while, huh? Longer than I remember. They do come back, it's just a matter of when. Aha! We got them, okay. Yeah, in theory it should be, but you never know. Now, Sue... I'm actually going to go ahead and give her the Oracle Bow. Be, or No, I'm going to give her a Rain Cloud Staff, for obvious reasons. Or the Hell Bow, I guess, but... Yeah, we still want to work a little bit on... I'm still going to use Fight with her. Uh, and basically, I'm going to now... Well, I'm going to try to get... I'm going to try to burn all of her fights as quickly as possible and then just stick with Wind. I want to get her Wind up to 23 by the time I finish the next area. Ideally, this area, but I don't know if that's going to happen. And Gadwin, I really don't care about using him at all in this area, so I'm probably not going to. But yeah, tree amulet, amulet, or tree amulet, tree got amulet on both of them. That'll do the trick. Alright, so that's good there. I don't really need to change their equipment. Got a little dungeon scope here. Need to get back to my map. Here we are. So head straight south. Why didn't you guys get these chests? What's wrong with you? Well, if you ever wanted to see 224 weapon experience, there you go. <laughs> yeah, I used all of her fights in that battle. <laughs> I wasn't kidding when I said I was going to waste them all. Because I want to focus more so on uh, Sue's wind. You don't have to do that, but like I said, I want to get all of her abilities. Because it just it seems appropriate to me. You know, Gadwin, Gadwin takes too long, but Sue, eh, I don't mind getting Sue's stuff. Uh, she's not quite at level 36, but I'd like to get those up to 36, 37. I'm good with her weapons being at 40. It's just uh, magic at this point. Oh, he's... Yeah, Justin's already at 21. Okay, cool. We'll keep going then. Uh, we got that item already. Where are we going here? This is the exit to the volcano, by the way, but you can't actually use it right now. Ah, crap, I've been talking through this battle. Oh, well, too late now. Now I gotta show it. I didn't mean to do that. Prioritize, uh... Justin, I guess. So, yeah, I'm pretty much gonna do Hal and then Hal. Oh, well, I'm gonna use Hal Slash with Sue because I don't know where these guys are gonna move to, but... I believe Hal is gonna kill the Lost Souls, which sucks. Oh, no, it didn't, actually. Good. Not gonna bother attacking with Fina. Because I've already gained quite a bit of experience for her. Uh, no, I think, actually, just plain old Hal is good. Yeah, I thought they were gonna move a little bit, but whatever. I mean, I still want a little bit of weapon experience for Fina if I can. But keep in mind, she's gonna use Random Pearl on the boss, and that's gonna... 
Or, not random hurl. She'll use, uh... I think I'll just attack with her, actually. The boss. I don't think I'm gonna cast spells, am I? Maybe I am gonna cast spells. <laughs> eh. Nah, she's almost there what I wanted her to get anyway. No, I'm gonna use spells, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna use that crackle ability I have. Okay. I'm just gonna use the Azure knife then against the normal enemies. In which case I have no idea why I wanted to buy it originally, but I guess Maybe I did plan to use it, I just didn't update my notes properly. That's probably what happened. Because in my notes section I said that I wrote that the use the Azure Knife against the enemies. But, uh... I wrote something else earlier about the boss, but that's incorrect because I changed my mind, I guess. Sometimes I change my mind and I don't go back and revise my notes. So then I get to a later section and it's like, oh. It's always accurate to what I want to do, but sometimes I don't. I'm not specific enough for why I'm specifically doing something, or an earlier section doesn't make sense because I later on changed my mind. Does that make sense? I don't know. I want to go ahead and get to Sue's turn here. Don't be afraid to skip turns. Like I said, Gadwin, I really don't care about right now. He's basically got all of the stuff I care for him to have. Fina, or Sue, should theoretically finish her wind here as well. If she doesn't, she's got one more area to do so. Okay, now we're going to finish them off. Uh, nah, just go ahead and attack. Alright, Fina. Uh, yeah, these guys drop rain staffs like crazy. Feel free to sell the extra ones. I mean, just hold on to one. Uh, I guess. I guess two of them. But. Oh, wow. Yeah, she's already at six, yeah, 16 from that. He already gained a level, level there. She's gaining quite a bit of wind experience. Yeah, we're going pretty good. If Justin finishes, gets to level 23 wind, I will just have Sue use wind. I will skip Justin's turns. All right, grab that. I think there's also something up here. Yes. Oh, got an enemy there. Let me guess, it's only two. So in which case, why bother editing it out? Yep. Hal's not very good against them, but whatever. Or, no, Hal is good against them, but it usually kills them, is what I mean, so. Justin's my top priority for experience. Ah, oh, okay. Can you get runner, Sphina, or Sue? No, she doesn't have runner, does she? No. <laughs> Pretty easy. I forgot that she doesn't have runner anyway. Fina has it, but not, not Sue. Yeah, we got six there. We still don't have what we want here. Okay, keep going here. Uh, I believe there's a chest over here. Oh, there's a couple enemies here. Yeah, there's some money over here. Should we try to get uh, the remaining... Ah! That was close. I will fight those guys in a second. I believe... Wait, can we actually... Wait a minute. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, this should be... This should be a chain of gems over here. Let's go ahead and obtain that. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Oh, man. I think this is a chain of gems, which I believe I want to equip. Yes. Okay. 
So this is a plus one combo on your attack. It's a very, very good accessory. I will be giving it to Justin because he needs by far the most weapon experience. Getting an extra hit on your weapons effectively increases the amount of experience you're getting for that weapon. It's very, very good for leveling purposes and just good in general. Now, I actually would have given it to Fina if I didn't get to knife 20 or 12, but I already did, so I'm not going to bother giving it to her. Just because I'm only having Justin cast wind here. He's actually close to wind 23. Yeah, let's keep going. Okay. So, where are we going now? Um, we got that. So, it's somewhere down here there's a path south. But we can't get it. Because, yeah, see, it's, it's broken, I think. That little stalactite there becomes a path later on. So, I think we've got them all. Yeah, because the last chest was over here, I believe. Yeah. So you can kind of see it over there. There's a, some sort of charm. That's a confusion charm. But we have to come back to get that, unfortunately. Or to fight those guys over there, but I don't care about that. But let's take on both these two guys and be right back. Actually, can you? No. No, you have to wait for, the, for a cutscene. That's right. Okay. Well, that was fun. Let's head back up now. We've almost got our wind done, actually. Pretty much just going to use a few fights for Sue after this. I'd like to get 37 on her fire and earth, and that'll basically be enough for me to be totally happy with her development. So, so let's head up to the right first. Oops. Wrong way. I do want to head to the right, but a little bit lower to the right here. Yeah, there we go. So there's a chest here that we want to obtain. Yes, okay. Um, oh, there is... What's 17? Uh, that's a 450G, okay. We'll loop around and grab that in a second. Okay. I'm back. I took out a couple enemies there. Let's grab this. And... Yeah, whatever. We'll kill these idiots. Oh, God. There's two of them. I'll be right back. Yay! I took them out. Uh... Uh-oh. Where's that go? Oh, that leads... That's a shortcut if you want to... Go back, I think? I don't know. I don't know where that goes. Whatever. Just attack these guys. They don't give enough experience for me to care. They really don't. Just attack. Seriously. Attack. I don't care. Lost souls are just pathetic. I wouldn't even bother focusing too much on them. I mean, early on, when I had access to the save point, I could just howl spam them. Fine. Whatever. But Now, not so much. In fact, Fina might even be able to get 13 knives here, but nah, we'll just stick with 12. Yeah, we're almost done with Justin and Sue's uh, magic use. Oh no, this is correct. Yeah, this is where we want to go. So we want to go left when we can. Ow, there's a trap there. Alright, so after that battle, Justin finished his wind off. So I'm basically good here. Uh, and he picked up the final wind spell, Halnado. Not quite a shark NATO, but you know, you take what you can get, I suppose. Uh, I'm probably gonna focus maybe on using Tremor, I guess. Maybe some diggins, maybe get a level or two for Earth, but I'm not overly concerned about it or anything like that. But yeah, the problem with Halnado is that it actually moves everybody else around randomly so it can really screw up your party formation oh oh i'm way yeah this is the crater which i don't want to be in right now go back there's a couple of chests that i have to get 
uh, back here. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll leave the crater for last. Well, since we're about to stop recording. Nah, we'll do these two off screen. I just realized Justin has almost as much level 3 MP as Fina, and Fina has more magic levels. Wow, that's really bad. Uh, anyway, uh, you can use Dragon Cut on the Magma Men. That's what I thought. There's a secret passage here, by the way. Like, yeah, I, I, that's what I thought. So feel free to use it on them to level up Gadwin a little bit, if you'd like. I did. This should be a fire charm, which is completely useless at this point, because I've got so many of them. I'm going to have to start storing them. I don't think I'm going to need those fire charms anymore, really. I'm uh, Go south, by the way. I want to get one more item here. Uh, do I have something that can restore SP? That would be nice. If I have a bow thing, a bow fruit, I will use it. Nope, I don't. Oh well. Gadwin is really close to uh, leveling up all of his things there, but whatever. I'll just have him do a regular standard attack. Might as well just attack. I don't care too much. Can we do another random hurl? No, we can't, unfortunately. There we go. We have a nice little thing there. You know what? Let's see how much damage Puffy Kick does. Oh, wow. Justin uh, hit him. <laughs> now, granted... That was the some of that damage was from Justin, but most of that was Sue. <laughs> Holy crap! Uh, I love it. Yeah, see, Gadwin's really close. I might just use a digging or something to get that Earth level and attack or something. I don't know. Cool. We've done pretty good here. We've done very good here, actually. There's one chest down here. That's why I'm going down here. I could have gotten it earlier, but I just kind of... Oh, you're kidding me. Just discard the item. Like, I have, I have so many of those. Here it is. I knew it was somewhere. There it is. I wanted to just loop back and get it, basically. There might be another enemy or something down there, but... Eh. Let's just go to the crater. Uh, I'm going to end the episode at the crater, because that's the last part. And I'll leave the boss for the next part as well. That way. If we can figure out where we're going here. Is there any... Yeah, there's a couple of chests here. Coming up still. We should probably drop something. Or use a health weed or something. Yeah. I can't use a health weed! Alright, just drop it then. Maybe drop this antidote? Yeah. I don't really need antidotes right here. Drop that vaccine. Look at all these fire charms. I gotta get rid of them. I'm gonna store them all or do something. Maybe I'll sell them. I'll probably just store them because I don't really need the money. I balance my, my money pretty well in this game. Alright. We're here at the crater. It's a good place to stop. So next time we'll go through this last part of the dungeon. Fight the boss. This is Ryzen. Thanks for watching. Take care.